Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, Junior with Classic VW Books and Sonny the Super Beetle, uh, full restoration. And uh, today we're going to continue with uh, part two uh, firewall repair on Sonny's uh, body. So, if you remember from the last time, all of this here was all uh, filled with Bondo. I removed the Bondo uh, off, and you can see that the wall it's uh, compromised. I mean, can I leave it like that and just repair it? the bottom uh, pan yes uh, do I want to do that no is it uh, worth uh, to remove it yes uh, one because I want to try to keep the car as original as possible so as you know um, I got a donor parts a car mr. blue which I got his back uh, firewall cut off and that's what I'm using to replace this here to get it to look as it came out from factory so that's what i'm gonna do so uh, i'm gonna be cutting down uh the edge right here there is a red line that i uh, i'm gonna be cutting just to get an idea as to how far um, i want to go back from the edge here here so i'm pretty much allowing um I think I'm gonna leave about one inch here for the time being. Uh, so, and then here, the same thing. You can see right here, there is a line, a red line that I drew. I'm gonna be cutting that off right there, down up to here, and then I'm gonna go back on the outside of the car and cut along this edge right here. I'm just gonna take an angle grinder and cut down this edge right here, all the way down. Pretty much I left um, one inch from right here to right here so one one inch if you remember from uh, video one there was a bunch of uh, bondo in here and the reason being is because all of that behind there is rotted so instead of just fixing it they figure out well nobody's ever going to see that uh, so we'll just uh, put a bunch of bondo and well basically they fill it up with some kind of a fiberglass um, mesh or something like that and you can see the amount of bondo that they put there uh, big chunks right there look well uh, that does not meet my standards so I am going to keep this part here because it's structurally sound so with that being said what I will end up doing it's right along this edge right here you can see the factory uh, seam right there I'm gonna come down here half an inch to three quarters cut that along there I'm gonna take this out what I will do is I'll probably remove this from here and then the piece that I'm going to be installing here, uh, I'm going to cut it off along this edge right here. And then I'm going to weld that to this piece here because this piece here is structurally sound. This is just chi metal. I'm just gonna cut it off and pretty much just uh, spot weld it. Uh, or make weld it in different spots and then seam seal it just like the factory do like you can see right here that's one spot well two three four they are about one inch apart so that's pretty much the same thing I'm going to be doing with mine uh, I'll go ahead and start cutting and uh, and then I'll show you what's you know what we have um, left after that So, we want to make sure we don't ruin any of these wires right here.
Okay. So there's a little piece inside that I need to figure out what's holding uh, that part right there, but pretty much that's out. All right, so let's go back inside and see what we got. Perfect. Okay. Oh wow, that's really bad. Okay, so let's take a closer view of this right here. Um, as you can see right here, all of this piece here has been compromised while around it. So obviously I'm gonna have to figure out a way to eventually, if this does not get rust treated, it's gonna eat up the car. So we're taking all of this out. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove this piece here and also I'm going to use the edge of the bottom of this support here. I'm trying to leave as much um, structure of the car as possible to use it as a support. So, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, get uh, right under and um, cut this here along this edge and along this edge all right so i'm not going to film that part because as you can see it's pretty much straightforward take an angle grinder and just cut through it so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to do some prep work i'm going to clean uh some of the rust out and treat it and i'm also uh after i do that i'm going to begin the uh, the fitment to see you know where i need to be and what i need to do uh, probably I might use some of this sheet metal um, that I took off from here to sort of like build um, a better structure at the top portion right here where you can see it's all rotted right there now um, I might even end up cutting right along this edge right here so I don't know yet but I'll figure that out once I start uh, doing the fitment so I'll determine that the last, that's gonna be my last uh, brainstorming. But I kept some of the uh, chi metal that they had there um, to give it some kind of a more sound structure. And um, uh, so once I, I begin doing the fitment, I'll know what I need to do and what not. Um, but you know, that's, that's where we're standing right now. So. Okay, so um, I think that I pretty much have everything set up where I need it. Um, and I have um, ground off all of the uh, rust that was uh, sitting in it. And this is the end piece that we're going to be installing there now. So now I'm just going to go ahead and try to do some uh, fitment to see what else I need to cut off or, you know, and, and whatnot. And then um, we should be ready to do some uh, tacking in place and uh, keep going. So the um, so as you can see, the back firewall has been prepped and cut, and I have treated it with um, rust-oleum, uh, rusty solver. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to patch up this here because this has been compromised. So there's a lot of good metal in it, but there's a lot of uh, areas that you can see where the rust um, ate it through, and especially right there. So what I have done from the piece that I cut off from here, 
um, I made this uh, piece of uh, chi metal. Well, look at me. <laughs> I'm not a auto body guys, but you know, um, to not be an auto body guy, I think this came out pretty neat. And that's gonna go right there. Um, obviously, when I clamp it, it looks better. And when I tack it, and that's gonna be part of my new behind the firewall um, that's gonna provide a more sturdy support and structure. It's gonna make the structure more sound um, than uh, it would not be if I just leave it without putting that part right there. So, so that's where we are at right now. So um, I didn't have a piece long enough. So then I'm gonna cut another small piece uh, for that end to meet that end over there. Okay, um, this is the piece that I fabricated um, to cover all of the uh, structural part that was compromised, that was all rotted. And I'm pretty happy with that. So I think that that's gonna be fine. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just put some spray paint onto it, some primer. Okay guys, so this is pretty much the end result of the uh, firewall luggage uh, compartment installation. I'm pretty happy with the end result. Um, it was a tedious uh, job for the amount of uh, tack wells that I had to do to get it installed. Uh, as you can see, I spray painted with some uh, primer just to avoid uh, the wells spots from getting rust and then the next thing that I'm going to do is um, Paint it with some black Rust-oleum, but for now, this is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video um, The next step is you know, it just seems sealer like I said, uh, that's a pretty easy job. I'm not gonna record that but if you like this uh, work uh, if you like this uh, job that I did for Sunny the Super Beetle. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with somebody. Until then, Junior out.